When building hands-on models in Excel, sometimes we'd like to have a way to put some values in or to change the values in the model and watch what happens. One of the ways to do that is with a spin button. This is a spin button, and this is the cell it controls, and so on. I can see the back side by doing a right click and saying Format Control. And some of the properties I have are what its current value are, what its minimum, what its maximum, and what its incremental change is. If I were to change the incremental change to 7 and say OK, this one goes up and down by 7. Creating spin buttons takes uh, not a lot of work. Three quick steps. First of all, you have to make sure that you have the Developer tab showing. If you don't, you need to go to the File menu, and then under Options, and then Customize Ribbons. This is what that would look like. I would go to the File menu, Options, Customize Ribbon, and then I'm going to see whether or not I have Developer checked here. If I do have a Developer tab, I just go up and grab the tool, insert a control, position it, and then connect it up with a cell. And here's how we do that. Developer tab. This is the toolbox for control. What are what are called controls. And this form control here is a spin button. And then stick it on there. I right click it. The most important thing is that I tell it what cell I want it connected to. And the easiest way to do that is to click in the cell link box and then click on a cell. I say OK. And it now controls that cell. A spin button can only control a cell in terms of incrementing and decrementing it in terms of whole numbers or integers. Sometimes what I'd like to do is to have the ability to push a button and move a model up by one-tenth or one-one-hundredth or some other fraction. Here's how we do that. We create the spin button and it controls this cell. And then I create a formula in an adjacent cell which divides that number. The formula here is cell D14, which is this one, divided by 10. If I wanted the spinner to control something by 100s, I would just divide that by 100, and so on. A cute trick to hide that we've done this is to select the spinner, and then just move it over top of the cell that it actually controls. and thereby we have ourselves a decimal counter. You can set the minimum and the maximum value. Maximum value is 30,000. It doesn't go any higher than that. Um, you can set the incremental change, and again, the cell link, and then there's some other things that you can play with. And so a reminder, three steps. Make sure you have a developer tab, grab the tool, insert the control, position and size as you like, associate it with a cell, and then you're done.